Civil Rights Association of Nigeria has condemned the calm down and arrest of peaceful protesters at the Lekito Gate in Lagos State. The Human Rights Rights Association of Nigeria National Coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel, on Saturday in Abuja described the alleged conspiratorial silence of the Nigerian police and the Department of State Services to the open backing of armed S-men by Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed and the call for arms by the Kano State Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Aduhali Habas, are condemnable. The group accused the Nigerian government was showing double standard in its handling of the farmers and the Heather's crisis in the country. It also said that gross violations of the human rights of protesting peaceful and law-abiding citizens threatened constitutional democracy. The Human Rights Rights Association of Nigeria compared the current administration's bloody attacks on peaceful protesters in Lekito Gate, Lagos, and in almost the entire peaceful marches by citizens for the last six years to military junta. It said the crackdown on peaceful protesters in Lekito Gate, Lagos, this weekend is a grave affront to the core principles and values of constitutionalism and democracy. The action of the Lagos State Police Command could motivate activities from across the country to pour out on the streets to carry out solidarity marches. The brutal arrest of those activ activists by the police under the command and control of Mohamed Adamu in offensive to no international human rights conventions uh, treats on on by the nigerian states and democratic by the multiple law manipulated law and the grand norms of nigeria sorry about that the right group said the nigerian police not being a lawmaking body under section 4 of the constitution has no authority or legal powers to stop the exercise of these pro, uh, protected and guaranteed fundamental freedoms of the citizens. It condemned the harassment of economists and the former deputy governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Dr. Milafe uh, Obadia, by the DSS and the police and the police over his comment on insecurity. The nation, noting that the Bauchi state governor, Bala Mohamed, uh, supported the terror actions of armed S-men, but security force has not acted. <laughs> so, hello guys, what do you have to say about this? It's very, very glaring that these governments, you know, they've been the ones supporting all the atrocities being carried out by these armed Fulani S-men, all the why but hiding in the guise of uh, fighting corruption and all that this is very very glary the whole world is seeing it you can imagine a governor saying that the headsmen have the right to carry ak-47 the police they did not do anything dsa did not did, did, did not invite him but we know what happened when uh, obadia said that he had, he had somebody told him about a governor in the north being a commander of uh, uh, boko haram Instead of the government to get the refats and all that, they started, you know, troubling this man, inviting him left and right and all that. And you want you are fighting, you are fighting uh, uh, insurgents. Okay, somebody is giving you a clue. Instead of you to listen very well, you know, get the facts and work with that, you left that part of it and you are not asking questions. They, in fact, the guy, <laughs> uh, at a point, he said he's tired. That whatever the DSS or the general government uh, wants to do with him, that is ready. That is tired, you know, being invited by the DSS every day by day to answer questions and all that. I just told you what somebody told me. Now, as a as an administrator. So what are you supposed to do? Is it not for you to pick the information, then investigate about what he said? 
No, they don't want to go about that because they know what they are doing. They don't want their secrets, you know, to be opened. But they've forgotten that the truth is like light. No matter how you try to cover it, it's still shining out. It's just too glary. There's no how you cover this. Because with your body language, is well understood. You get it. Now this man has said it. That the Fulani Hessmen have the right to carry AK-47. So you people now know the reason why these people are still coming out in thousands with AK-47. Not knowing how they are getting these weapons and all that. Because we all know Fulani Hessmen, you know, as people that stay in the bush. We know them that these people, they cannot, who is Fulani Hessmen uh, uh, that will go to the, go to the store to go and uh, ask for a weapon and all that. So, who is bankrolling all these people? How are they getting this weapon? This is the question. So, Nigerian government has so much to answer. And this governor, this governor, this bala of a, of a man, you know, supposed to answer questions. You get it. There are so many things he's supposed to explain to Nigerians. First of all, good and fine. Okay, they have the license to carry AK-47, no problem. How are they getting these weapons? That is a very fine question that is question that supposed to explain to Nigerians. The wicked that men does lives with them. If you think that using the lives of Nigerians for politics, that you have made it in life, <laughs> don't forget that your punishment is waiting for you by your dial step. You cannot escape it. It's not possible. Okay, someone said yeah, their own can never be arrested. They are the landlord of Nigeria, so they can uh, uh, invade, arrest. The, uh, uh, the entity called Nigeria should be discussed by all the sun-dry. The earlier we call for... Uh, for revolution, the better for everyone of us. Our country is collapsing day by day. So, hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much.